good people it's tina from pit stop kitchen and garden and today i'm going to show you guys how i thin out my apple trees and nectarine trees and and just give you a view of all my other established trees um it worked for me last year i got the information from my garden group which is like the las vegas gardeners on facebook they are a tremendous help to me and I'm just going to show you guys what i do what what i do is that you see like these three apples can you see that from back there so this is the biggest one out of the three so then i'm just gonna pick these two off and leave this one to grow and then like this over here how it has two on it and this one is the bigger one I'm just gonna oh shoot i hope i don't take off the whole branch i'm just gonna take that little one off and then i'm just gonna compost these something like that i'm just gonna leave that alone this tree this tree has been a little beat up like right here i'm gonna take it off and so forth and so on it's not gonna be a long video you guys saw that pretty much so i'm just gonna like kind of like oh well then i gotta be careful not to do that that's not what i want to do This one has four. This one has four in it. So I'm going to take three off. So hopefully we'll get some big apples. Last year I wasn't even able to eat any of my apples because the birds ate all my apples. But this year hopefully I'll, I'll come up with a solution for those birds. And um... And we're going to leave Mr. P to get the rest of that because I'm recuperating from a knee procedure and I don't want to mess it up again. The figs are doing pretty well. I just took off like an old fig that, that was like a late bloomer from last year and it, it didn't do anything they're like all scattered around here they didn't they never ripen so now they're just gonna pretty much just like fall off i see the birds are already the birds are already enjoying my figs so i'm gonna probably have to get some tool or netting or something pretty quickly because they oh and in the back of the tree too because they like devour this as soon as as soon as a fig gets ripe they go to town and i see all this bird poop in the middle of the tree so yeah i gotta do something quick about that and if you guys watched my last video on my blood myrtle tree here's a little update i'm not touching these fruit i'm not thinning them i'm not doing nothing to them because i'm just so happy and proud of her that she decided to bloom for me. She set fruit. It looks really good. It looks kind of stable. I got a cluster here, a cluster there, a cluster there. Can you get up? Can you get a close up on it?
this tree went from no blossoms to loaded and I'm not even gonna touch it. I'm just gonna let it rot. Pomegranate tree, I'm not gonna touch it. It did pretty well last year. The blooms are really, really pretty. And then look what they turn into. This is a pomegranate. If you can get up on that. And then it's just gonna grow into a pomegranate, but it's, this tree is so pretty to me. Next, I'm gonna go and thin out these nectarines. really that clustered up too much but I think they were saying like if you you need them to have to, to be like two finger lifts apart so now these are two apart and then right here these are clustered these are all clustered up and then like these are clustered up And then we'll just compost the rest the top part i'm not gonna worry about it. if i can't reach it i ain't gonna worry about it and then i'll let mr p do the rest i don't know what this is this sort of crystallized i don't know if y'all can see that if anybody knows what that is can you hit me up in the comments and let me know i'm gonna have to take a picture and show my garden group to see what that could be this tree was giving me problems at first because i thought it was sick but it put on so many blooms this tree is like loaded down i don't know if you guys can see from back there but um anyway and then my um my asian pear tree these I'm just going to let them be because last year I didn't really touch them. Did you thin these out last year? No. Yeah, we ain't thin them out and they was perfectly good. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We've had so many windstorms that just just went through my, my little trees. So a lot of their fruit fell, the blossoms fell. So that's okay. It's their first year. And even like this tree, this is my, this is my fool you persimmons and it's established and we have like all the fruit. That dropped off of it but that happened last year too and we still got a, a good number of um persimmons so i'm happy with that anyway guys thanks for your time if you're still here i appreciate you watching and have a good one